what powers Miami? Did you know it's a nuclear reactor? Actually, two of them. Welcome to Turkey Point. Located south of the city on the shores of Biscayne Bay and sandwiched between Biscayne National Park and Everglades National Park, Turkey Point is one of 94 nuclear reactors in the U.S. today. It first opened in 1972 and is operated by Florida Power and Light. The facility was built on flat, low-lying land that was once wetland, making it super prone to flooding. With the way things are going, sea level rise projections estimate that the whole area around the power plant could potentially be underwater by the year 2040. That may sound far away, but that's just 15 years. That also includes the roads in and out of the area, the cooling canals, backup power, and all of this could be underwater in 15 years. Despite this, in 2018, FPL applied to the federal regulators, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, for a license extension that would allow them to keep operating their reactors as is until the 2050s. That's why Miami Waterkeeper and our partners have been actively bringing legal challenges to ensure that FPL and the federal government fully consider climate risks like heat, flooding, and storms in their efforts to extend nuclear plant operations through the 2050s. The NRC is an extremely hard place to be an advocate, but against all odds, we've won several rounds of the long game. Turkey Point's first in the nation 20-year license extension was overturned in 2022 on our appeal. The NRC sent FPL and all other plants across the nation back to the drawing board and changed regulations so that when they reapply, they have to look at climate risk specific to each plant. The Government Accountability Office also released a big report urging the NRC to look closely at climate risk in nuclear plant license extensions, naming Turkey Point as one of the most vulnerable plants in the country. FPL has now reapplied, and they still haven't done the rigorous analysis necessary to reassure us, their neighbors, that the plant won't cause a regional catastrophe in the coming decades. And that's why we're still at it, appealing this latest license extension. It's a big battle, and that's why we need your support for this work.